Hello and welcome to this quick tip about Express LRS. Now, if you have an Express LRS radio, I think a lot of us do these days, I've got several, there is one cool feature that I haven't talked about on the channel, but I was talking to one of my flying buddies recently, a gentleman called Adam, so thank you to Adam for this tip, and he said, are you aware that there's a wireless joystick in Express LRS? And to be honest, it's one of those things that passed me by. It is in the documentation, but I thought I'd make a video and share it, because if I've missed it, Guarantee there are some of you out there that have also missed it as well. Now this is a really cool feature that you can enable and turn your radio into a Bluetooth joystick that then you can connect to your computer and fly the sim of your choice. It's very easy to configure and set up. I'd recommend making a new model dedicated to the sim on your radio and then set it up as normal with the Express LRS stuff, just as if you're going to bind to something. Go into the Express LRS Lua script and then enable BLA joystick. On the screen, it'll say that the joystick is enabled, press return to exit. While that screen is showing, go onto your PC, make sure that Bluetooth is enabled and depending on the Windows version, you'll need to discover it like I do here, or it'll appear automatically. Select it and connect to it. Don't need a password, don't need a code, and that's it. Using it, once it's connected, is very easy and straightforward. There's minimal lag, it's actually great for playing with Sims, and do make sure that all the channel mapping and everything is okay. Go through that cali calibration routine in the Sim before you fly and you're all set. Only a couple of gotchas with this. First of all, is that that screen on the radio, the one that says the joystick is running, has to be on the screen all the time while you are doing this. Uh, that does also mean, of course, that the radio is running from its own internal battery. So it will be running that down. Remember that. The range on this, it's kind of the low power Bluetooth, for what I can see, isn't massive. Three or four meters. So you'll get, you know, from one side of your lounge to the other without any problem. Uh, but that's perfect for people like me where I'm kind of sat laid back in the chair while I'm flying the simulator on my PC. And that's about it. So hopefully that's been interesting and it's a cool little tip. If you have been thinking about how do I connect my radio to my computer to fly your simulators or play other games, then you can turn this into a Bluetooth joystick and use it for whatever you want. Thank you for watching the video. If you watch my videos and find them useful, then please take a moment to hit the like and subscribe button. It helps the channel a lot. If you really like what I'm doing here, you can become a Patreon and support the time I spend helping others and get access to lots of exclusive benefits. Link is in the video description. Remember that all the videos on the channel are organized into playlists, so you can easily use those playlists to find all the videos on a subject that you are interested in. Add Painless360 to your searches on Google and YouTube, and it'll help you find my content for any particular topic. Thanks again for watching, and as always, happy flying.